we're uh, doing a service project for Hearts and Hammers here in Dallas, and uh, it not only helps out somebody in the community, but whether we're uh, getting at each other or throwing paint, it still just kind of bonds us as a group. How's that guy, Bob Ross? All right. All right. Mm -hmm. We're making happy clouds. <laughs> I find it gratifying when we go out and actually do a project in the community. That's when your Christianity is really being useful. You come out and you do these, these projects together, it, it makes everybody feel like more of a family. And the next time you see those people in church, you feel like they're more than just the other people at church. Brotherhood of St. Andrew's got uh, three disciplines, uh, study, prayer, and service, and this is the service part. The Brotherhood of St. Andrew, we, uh, not only do we do service projects here, we're very involved in the Patriot Paws, where we uh, fund and help uh, placing dogs with, with wounded vets. Each meeting we have, we, we start with a breakfast. And that's, that's a doing thing. We have to do things as guys. We need to be engaged in some sort of thing. So we do breakfast. And then after we have breakfast, we have our devotions. So, so I so. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. What a labor of love. Look at yes. that. Yes. 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 It's to study the Holy Scriptures regularly. I really enjoy the discussion group that we have. I like to... Uh, get other people's ideas about uh, what, you know, we'll do a scripture reading and then we'll talk about aspects of it and, and we'll bounce it around the room and we'll, we have 30 people in there a lot of times. And uh, it makes for very interesting conversation. We try to apply the scriptures of God's word in, in every facet of our lives. We learn, slowly learning about the Bible and about, uh, about Jesus Christ and, and his attributes and how we can represent the, him through our actions. And and the uh, beer uh, the beer is nice too. We even we even make our own alcohol which is a level up from your normal drinker. Almost like medieval monks uh, with our own brewery. Yeah, I like it. Oktoberfest is basically a gathering of people where uh, we brew our own beer and judge it and we roast a pig and all the proceeds support our EYC, which is our Episcopal Youth Churchman group on their mission trips that they take each year. That's the winning beer. Of course, we have the beer contest. We had we we've uh, barbecued a, a pig. We've had uh, guys cooking hot dogs and bratwurst and sausage all day. Homemade sauerkraut, and potato salad. We've had a cakewalk. We've had a jumperoo. The kids have been here. It's just been uh, a great time for everybody. We've had uh, a mix. We've had uh, stouts. We've had IPAs. We've had box. We've had uh, pilsners. It's a lot of fun and we cut up and we have a lot of enjoyment with each other and guys get, they get to know each other on a deeper level than just, hi, how are you? They become uh, bonded in a way. I was used to be in the Marine Corps and, and, and that, that bond uh, of brotherhood uh, is really profound. It's really tangible in, in an organization like the Brotherhood of St. Andrew. Now, I never thought that twice a month I'd want to get together with a bunch of men at our church, but it's, 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 come, it's become routine and I've learned to love it and cherish that time uh, to, to grow together. You might want to look into the Brotherhood of St. Andrew and see what, what the benefits are, not only for you, but for the community, for your church, for other people that's around you, the, the witness that you can have, the witness that other people can have to you, other men can have to you, is just overwhelming so far as I'm concerned. Grant, O oh Lord, that all members of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew may confess the faith of Christ crucified and fight as faithful soldiers against the works of the enemy by the strength of the Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.